Hey there, good morning everyone, or good evening. <laughs> All depends on when you're watching this. I'm recording in, this, in the morning, so that's why I said good morning. But anyways, um, thank you for being here. My name is Nancy, and I'm gonna do a quick five minute review of the Kush Mascara, which came out months and months ago, and a lot of people have been talking about it. But I finally got my hands on it because I saw that they had a like mini size or a travel size. So I didn't want to drop the coin on the full size one. Um, I bought the mini one and it was like $12, I think. And it is 0.13 ounces. And then there's the full size one, which is 0.34 ounces. And I think it's like double the price. Don't quote me on it. I'll insert the actual cost up here. Um, but this is the packaging that it came in. It claims that 95% people saw high volume, 95% uh, saw longer lashes, 90% saw thicker lashes, and 90% saw lifted lashes. The Milk Mascara is from the company, um, the Milk, the Kush Mascara is from the company called Milk. And let's see, their basic um, kind of claims are is that it has cannabis oil in it so that's real it really is in there that's why it's called Kush and it's supposed to nourish and condition the lashes for um, healthier lashes in one you know fell swoop it's got unique heart shaped fibers that thicken lashes for long lasting volume length and curl and let's see it catches curls and coats a pure pigment of intense black formula for defined clump free lashes so I do have this on my eyes right now. Um, if you want to stick around, I'm going to go ahead and apply it on camera so you can kind of see the before and after to see how it does actually kind of work on my lashes. I have a lot of lashes, but they're fine and they're blonde, so they don't show up real well. But this is, um, this is me with the mascara on right now. And what I will tell you is that it does give you time to play with the mascara. You know how some mascaras dry really fast and then they'll start to clump on you and turn spidery real quick? These, um, this formula allows you to play with it for a little while, which I kind of like. Um, the lash is very, very silky soft. It, it is the softest lash formula I think I've ever put on my eyes before in terms of like touch. Like if you touch them after it dries, they're super silky soft. Um, and bendable, they don't feel crispy, which I kind of like. Um, they do, uh, this formula does thicken a little, it does lengthen a little. Is it the most building, plumping, like, lash formula? No, but I think for what it is and for the nourishing effect that it gives to your lashes, I think it really gives a very, very pretty, soft, feathery lash. It doesn't clump, um, which I do like, and the other thing that I really appreciate about this mascara is usually with all mascaras, I really like that I don't have to use special eye makeup removers to take it off. Um, I can use my regular Neutrogena Naturals um, like cream cleanser that takes off makeup and that takes it off no problem. So I really like that about mascaras that stay on your lashes all day and it's easy to take off. I did already wear this um, all day yesterday. Um, and it, it looked good all day. I think my only problem was, is I started to kind of continually add another coat or two after the formula started to dry. So it did started to, um, to sort of pick up and get a little clumpy, clumpy on me. And I saw a little bit of fallout on my cheeks, um, but I think that was user error. So today, um, I'm doing this again and I didn't play with the mascara or add more coats after it dried. So I think, I think this is a winner. I mean, if you have a little bit of extra coin and you want to spend and treat yourself on, um, a nourishing mascara, this is pretty amazing. This is the mini travel size, which is perfect for me. I love to try a lot of mascaras and, uh, I only bought this because I was at Disneyland and I wasn't having a whole lot of shopping success in the parks and there was a Sephora in downtown Disney. So I said, hmm, okay, I'm gonna treat myself to some stuff at Sephora since I seem to not be able to buy anything other than food and beverages. So uh, that's how this purchase came about. But go ahead and if you stick around, I'm gonna go ahead and show you me applying the mascara, do a little before and after, and yeah, that's gonna do it. So stick around and see what I have going on my eyelashes. Okay, so I guess right here, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in and please forgive my slightly foggy voice. I think this is the first time I've spoken this morning. I'm getting ready to go to work and I'm running late, so 
I just thought I would do this real quick to give you a first impression or a second impression of how this awesome mascara goes on. So let me go ahead and zoom you in. And whoa, here I am in all my glory. So forgive the horrible eyeliner job. Um, yeah, it just wasn't my finest point this morning. But um, this is my eyelashes without anything on. So this is what my eyelashes look like with nothing on. I have a little bit of black eyeliner and like I said, it didn't go on the greatest. So let's go ahead and get this mascara on by Milk, the Kush Mascara. And let's see if I want to show you the bristles right here. This is the ginormously thick bristled mascara brush wand, whatever you want to call. And I'm going to go ahead and just start putting this on for you. So that is one coat. And let me go ahead and play with it a little bit more. Okay, just dip the wand in one more time. And we're gonna go ahead and wiggle at the base of the lashes to get some more product on there. And pull it up. And that is two coats of the Kush Mascara. So here we have the mascara on and the eye without it. So that is that. Let me go ahead and put some on the lower lash line. And there it is on the lower lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish my eyes up. I'm gonna do this eye off camera and I will be right back. So here we are friends, I have both eyes applied, my mascara's on, and I think it is a really, really pretty formula. But these are the lashes, let me go ahead and zoom you in real close, and excuse the wrinkles in the bags, I don't sleep enough and I'm old. So that is what I have going on with me this morning, and usually every morning, but um, that is the Kush Mascara Minute Review for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And I do think if you have a little bit of extra pocket change, it's something worth trying out. But I do think there are some similar ones in the regular drugstore that'll give you a similar effect for half the cost. So, or even more than half the cost if you get the full size of the Kush. But anyways, that's going to do it for me. I thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you being here. Please leave your questions, comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know that you appreciate this content or enjoy it and let me know that I'm doing a good job or not. You know, all constructive criticism is welcome. And I hope you have a good day or a good night wherever you are. And until next time, bye.